So today, I'm going to talk about seven ways to get paid for your passion in 2022. Based on all the mistakes I've made and all of the mistakes that I've heard my clients make and all the breakthroughs that I've seen uh, from coaching people for 14 years. And this is my top seven and I hope you enjoy the ride because I'm going to be sharing some pretty visceral stuff. Okay, number one is to get clear on the problem you are solving for your client. Now, as a wisdom leader, I am uh, working with a, a lot of pretty fascinating people and we go off on pretty amazing topics and we completely lose track of the problem that they have. It's really, really important, even if you're good at what you're doing, that you can get into your client's needs and you go into the pain of their problem. And what is the impact of that pain for them in their life? And what would it mean for them value-wise if they were to resolve that? You need to really, really define that. And I have been reminded not five times, not 10 times, 15 times. Uh, by people that have uh, mastery in this area that I can traditionally neglect this. It's so easy when you have a product that you're so enthusiastic about to then try to find you've got the greatest solution. Now you just need to sell somebody on the, uh, and help them understand that whatever problem they have, that is your solution. I'm gonna take a different approach. Find their problem. And when you find their problem, then have a range of different solutions that can get them to their goals. So that's my number one advice. Make sure you, for every client you have, you write down exactly what their problem is. Number two is that you want to have a relationship with your clients. <laughs> I know this seems like uh, uh, not broadcast news, right? But if you can stop calling your clients your clients, or your customers and recognize that these are people and you're wanting to make a, uh, have a, a service relationship to them, then you're gonna have a, a, a need to connect emotionally with them. So to build a relationship with somebody is a long-term journey. That means that I'm not just here to provide a product and a service and they pay and then they're out the window. I'm here to get into their world, understand their vision, fall in love with them, understand their problems, get to know their constellation of family, friends, and their, and their, their interests, and get fascinated by them. There's so much uh, wisdom that they have to provide, so that means building a relationship and always having a, a follow-up with them so that, that you can get into their extraordinary experience. So that means that it's not the Brent Bruning show or your show, it's their show and you are there to be the support. So they should need to be talking at least 50, 60, 70% of the time so that you can really understand and really appreciate them along the way of their journey. So that's my number two is build a relationship with them. So this is gonna sound super obvious and yet it's gonna be the most breakthrough part of this whole uh, video series. In order to live from your passion, it's important to understand your passion. And that means that your passion has two areas from a palmistry or hand analysis, hand analysis perspective. Number one is you have areas within your fingerprints that are highly evolved that show you can go all day long on certain topics. For example, if you have a circle on your right index finger, you are an absolute visionary. And you can look at my other videos to see all the different topics. But whatever it is, is your life purpose. And it is your life purpose to design your business according to your life purpose. Whatever your highest ranking fingerprint is your highest passion. So obviously that would be step one, is to develop a model of your business that enthuses you, it gives you so much drive 
that you, every time you touch it, you feel like you're living your life purpose. So therefore, if you don't know your life purpose by now, you need to come to me and find it out so that I can help model your business so that you can have even more enthusiasm and energy. So find your purpose and your passion. So number four is now going into some pretty deep topic here. It's, uh, it's in hand analysis, it's called the life lesson. And this is an area where is when you have looked at the different areas of your palm in one of my readings, you have recognized, wow, you have a lot of talents here compared to other people. You have some gifts, you have some drives, you have a, 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 a purpose, as you saw in the previous video from your highest ranking fingerprint or the circle that wherever that is. But there's also areas that you're not so amazing at. And I can tell you from experience of looking at people who really are dealing with this karmic issue all the time, for example, around money or around relationship trust, that if that's the story of your life, make it the story of your business. And that means that you put, instead of suffering about that problem that I can see in your, your hand, put it front center and make it the design of the business model that you have, that you are a solution provider for that. Now that seems like you may not be in a very deserving place to be able to counsel people on something you haven't solved yourself. But I can tell you that you have a great, great fulfillment if you do go into that painful area and make that the part of your service offering. Why? Because every step you make to discover that is going to give you more and more energy and you're going to attract clients all the time. Let's say money issue is your issue and, and that you develop a business model around, you will end up becoming prosperous as you go along counseling other people on the best techniques. You're taking something you're traditionally unconscious about and putting it front center. So that is my best tip for getting and living a life of your passion from your business model. Get everyone on your calendar. So this is an area, um, since we're talking business, when you come to a place where you have so much enthusiasm for your business, you can easily go into a flow and you're going from one client to the next and then you're getting into a great experience. But what you might find along your route of a, of a customer journey is that you don't know where you left off. If you have 30 clients you're working with and you don't know, you know a month later, oh my gosh, I don't know when is our next appointment. If you can get everyone in your calendar, it doesn't matter if they have agreed to it or not. It's really important that you express your interest and your love for that client to find them in somewhere in a time when you would like to check up on them. And if you can do that in the middle of your session when you're counseling them and go, all right, let's, let's have a, a checkup or let's see where you are in a couple weeks or in a month. Uh, I'd like to see if you've taken my solution, if you have any questions. It's complimentary just to check where you are, but get them in your calendar because what that means is that you are interested in their journey. You're not here on a, a you know one trick pony. You're here to really go into their life story and you're invested in that. So that means that you need to have something structured in the future all the time, always in every session, you put something in your calendar, whether they agree to it or you are just saying at that day, I'm going to follow up with them. Make sure you have something in their calendar. The number six tip for being paid for your passions is get your act together in a program. So that means that there are times when you're focusing on the people that you need to follow up with. There are time, block times for you developing a, um, a content that is a value for them. There's other blocks for you working with marketing, other blocks you're trying to improve your product. But 
if you, whatever your business model is, if you can block that into a regular program and make it habit forming, you're going to have a much greater success because you know it's Monday and the first half of Monday you're dealing with bills and invoices and the second half you're following up with customers and on Tuesday you're working with your marketing and you're trying to bring uh, um, awareness to the people on a large scale to your cold market and you're trying to figure out how to bring value so that people understand what you're, do what you're doing. Try to get a program together and block these times so that you're kind of in a rhythm. Without that, from experience, you will find yourself going, I don't know where to start today. I don't know what I'm doing. I have a thousand things that are demanding attention and I'm just gonna put the thing that's either easiest or, what's, uh, or who's uh, driving the priority. And that's no way to work. You'll find yourself in a mess by the end of the week going, what did I do this week? So if you can get into a program, then you can really go, oh yeah, last week I was doing the invoices and we, we, now we have to do these improvements this, this Monday. That will help structure your life and you'll be going into a regular set of successes. So my last tip on how to get paid for your passion is measure your payments. Right? Get, me measure the amount of money that you are actually making. And I don't want to ever have a money driven business because as, a, as somebody who is uh, leading in the wisdom area of hand analysis, I am, that's my least interesting topic. However, if I don't monitor that, then what happens is that I for completely, totally, I, I block it out and I forget about people that need me in certain areas. And so it really is opportunities that I'm losing because I'm not tracking, oh my gosh, this person has invested this much and they have a great momentum in this area and I'm not caring because I'm just going on to the next client. So unless you can really have your mind on the money, you're going to lose the traction. So the best recommendation is have metrics, weekly metrics, monthly metrics of what your sales are and the different product offerings. And you know, benchmark and say, okay, how did I do this month? And if I, uh, what worked? If, and these metrics go in every area. Put some numbers in your Instagram account and go, you know what, we're not making any movement here. We haven't, uh, we haven't broken through in any numbers on YouTube. Get numbers and get a central sheet and just see what is working and what is not because I can guarantee from my experience you get captivated in, the, in your love for certain projects that are meaningless to your, 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 your constituents. So the numbers are the vote of whether you're doing it right. So make sure that you have a come to Jesus uh, a meeting with yourself to make sure that you're in budget and as well tracking the figures. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this, uh, uh, this take on my top seven tips on how to get paid for your passion. Thanks a lot.